welcome back to my channel. My name is Isabella Drake, if you don't already know. And yeah, I thought today, as I've just finished my A-levels, well I say just, it was like probably about 20. Um, since I finished my A-levels, I thought I would show you my coursework for my photography and the exam and everything, like all of my photography coursework from the last two years. Only half of this coursework actually counted towards my A-level, which is stuff I did in second year, but I thought I'd also show you my first year work to show you where I started and where I have progressed to. If you're in any of these photos, like, I'm sorry if you don't like them, and if you want me to delete this video, like just let me know. But um, yeah, I hope you enjoy, and let's get on with showing you my photography books. I'll do like a show and tell and like I'll film the books anyway. Anyway, so yeah, I thought I would start with my first year books and I don't think I'm going to show you all of them. I don't know if this is all of them, but yeah, I'm going to go in order of time. When I started photography, they set us a task and it was called like My World and Me. I had to study this photographer called Nick Travis. Yeah, he basically does like these photos of people in their rooms in their personal environment and then we basically had to study him like before we even started college and then basically this is so this is him this is my art to study for him so we had to study him and then do our own and this is my own so we had to do a portrait and then something of ourselves. so basically i'm going to cover up this photo because it's quite personal to me but um yeah basically this is me and then my my friend someone else which is holly um and i took these photos before i even studied photography or knew anything about photography like my tripod which isn't even a tripod so the angle is definitely going to have changed but oh well we're just going to roll with it and then the second art study they set us to do in the second week of photography, I mean, it's going to be quite a long video, but yeah, the second week of photography was Anya Nimi, 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 and she does quite abstract work, she does self-portraits as well, but um, she never really shows her face, and it's quite like, yeah, like this, basically. I think her photography is quite cool. So for mine, this is what I... Ow. I oh my god I literally scratched my nose this is what I did um I like worked with light and patterns which is a lot what she did and I didn't show my face and I did shadows and stuff um so yeah but I obviously like got my friend to help me take pictures and then in photography we also learnt how to use photoshop obviously and the cameras and everything so in this book like there's tech pages in my second year books there's no tech pages because we did our tech separately and then the next photographer they showed us is christina paik because they tried to show us all different styles of photography so obviously this is fashion photography um and she's quite a famous fashion photographer and she, I don't know, her photography is really cool. It's quite high end. So this is what I did. And honestly, these photos are actually tragic. Um, and I'll show you them close up, like another clip, whatever. But they're all out of focus and it's so bad. And like, obviously, Anya and Nimi's work is quite neutral and like white. And I literally shot with a brick wall. So quite a warm tone wall. And then the outfits they're wearing are both red. So... It was quite tragic. And then there's just more tech pages, just learning how to use Kodak colour instead of using film because film is quite hard to use in the first year. So then they went and showed us, they told us to choose landscape photographer. So I chose Charlie White. And this is Charlie White's photography. I actually remember shooting this on my way to college on my phone, which is so tragic. But I literally just took pictures like in Bushy Park and like around the river and stuff. Like this photo was literally on my way to college and like a farm near me so yeah and then like bushy park and stuff which they're kind of bad but it's all about improvement really the photography next photographer i chose was anne he because i wanted to do like quite portraits and stuff so this is anne he 
Hearts work. And then Anne here, this is, I chose to shoot in Bushy Park with Holly and I remember shooting this and it was freezing, it was like October or November. And I thought Bushy Park would have flowers in October and November and it doesn't. And I literally had to make Holly stand in Bushy Park and there were no flowers. And she, I literally made her wear a flower crown like she hated this shoot, I remember. But you know, it's all about the learning, 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 learning. And then we looked at more documentary. So our, our teachers in the first term basically taught us all the genres of photography and made us explore all the different things, put us out of our comfort zones. So we chose Tatsuo Suzuki, who's a street photographer. And he always does quite contrasty photos in black and white. Um, and these are my Tatsuo Suzuki, just random strangers in London basically but um and then this is quite an abstract photographer who uses slow shutter speed and like long like long exposure and stuff and it's called she's called Yell Suzuki it's really abstract like self-portraits um so I got into my bathroom and like attempted this it was honestly so tragic but yeah, I remember my friend Jazzy came from Swindon and she helped me take these photos. Um, and then we had to basically look back on our projects and choose the things that we thought were good and what were bad and then do some further refinements. So then we had to do an inspiration page with the things we liked and then carry on. And that's where we go on to this honestly not a tripod at all, it's so tragic. It's literally like my iPad, my iPhone, all the boxes just stacked up it's tragic but so many films of it. it's like photography has been my life every week for the last two years and like having a break from it is kind of quite relieving but I really want to get back to it because I really did enjoy photography I'm pretty sure this is the next book and they basically gave us titles and I chose I think everyone had to do Decade and this was like October November of the first year of photography because it's quite fast paced so this is my inspiration page and then we had to pick artist studies still because there gets to a point where we weren't allowed to pick artist studies. So yeah, um, we're still copying artists. So I chose to get Holly in the bath um, with her clothes on. And <laughs> she's actually gonna hate me for this because she hated this shoot. I put like, I did like the whole milk bath thing, which was quite a popular trend. If you're wondering what these are, these are like contact sheets. And so we had to basically shoot at least 20 pictures and we did contact sheets so that they can see that we're good at selecting the right images so yeah that's why we have contact sheets and you have to draw your edits like they get us to do these things really early on so that when it gets to our main course what we're doing ticking like all the boxes and then i chose chloe shepherd and i took pictures i kind of like these pictures like these it's, i think this is when i discovered like I don't know, Aperture, because I, I like the Aperture's quite nice in these, considering it was like literally my second month of photography. It's quite bad, and I could have used like a reflector. This is when we learned to use the studio, so yeah, basically portraits in the studio that we were learning. And then I studied John Sezaker, this is for Decay, because he does like portraits with landscape images and I wanted to focus on like trees and stuff because I feel like trees kind of symbolize decay I don't know so then I basically made it really basic and just literally photoshopped an image of a landscape onto my friends and made the picture of my friends black and white so you just have to start really basic and then obviously I refined it further as you can see I looked at map Wazinski, who does double exposure and a lot of Photoshop and this is where I like fell in love with photoshopping things so yeah he does like really cool things like double exposure um di digital manipulation and stuff like that so this is my digital manipulation um this is my friend Freya and yeah basically my teacher taught me how to fade it into the face um and yeah i really did like these images i actually really like this book this is one of my favorites um i think i got an a in it but obviously an a in a second year is so different to an a in, in the first so a was quite easy to get in the first year and from that i looked at antonio mora who oops who does similar things he kind of looks at blending different things into faces 
um, still using the studio, like I literally loved using the studio. So then this is my Antonio Mora work, but obviously you can see it's really similar to the artist study and that's where your photography develops from the first year to the second year. So at this point we were just developing our techniques and learning how to use the equipment and stuff. So you can really tell from that. But I basically took these pictures, I went to Kew Gardens, took these pictures of the plants and then photoshopped them onto Freya and Hannah in the like dark room. And then this was my final images and I really hated them. I really thought it was kind of disappointing because like my development five and four were better than my dev six and yeah. So I wasn't really happy with them, but that was literally before Christmas. And then after Christmas, I think we moved on to creating mood, which was this project. And for this project, I basically chose a different type of photography. I chose to do urban landscape and architecture because I wanted to move away from doing portraits because I kept focusing on portraits. So I studied Stephanie Young or Jung or whatever, Stephanie Young I think it is. And she basically does like double exposure and like layering pictures and it looks quite chaotic and that's the mood I chose because you had to create like choose a mood that you wanted to create. So I thought her photography looked quite chaotic and chaotic is what I wanted to do. So I basically went up to London, took a picture of like Piccadilly Circus and then layered it and with all the people and put some cool like Kodak colour onto it. And then I looked at layering pictures in a different way, like a collage, which was this one. And I studied Daniel Shell. So this is my Daniel Shell, and I literally just took a picture of a few sheds and like layered it. And then from that, I thought about collage digitally, and then chose to collage manually, which is when I went and cut out buildings and I use the artist study Guillermo Costa and I really loved his work so I physically cut out all these buildings it honestly took me so long because I'm so bad at cutting and sticking like you, you can tell from this book how my presentation is just so messy I used a wide lens and then cut out the buildings for Guillermo Co Costa on that because at this point we didn't do that many developments, like we only did four, five or six. I went up to London and I did the same again. I don't know why, but it's kind of bad. And then this is our progression exam. So creating moves, which was just to introduce us to the exam style. We started our progression exam, which was nearer to the summer. Which then I studied, I chose the title. There was three titles. There's alternative beauty, simple forms movement and I wrote about little things we could do for each and then I decided to explore each title so this is movement and I explored Jet L. Janssen she does like like long exposure and like photoshop um, and I went to Bushy Park and I just merged the trees it was literally the easiest shoot ever I literally got like the I don't know what the tool's called motion blur the motion blur tool and then I thought I'd study simple forms and I thought I would study Susan Saroff who does glasses and fruit and like manipulation in a way that you like mer like look at fruits in a different way. So this is the first time I used a 35mm lens. This is, And it wasn't really a good idea to use a 35 for this but yeah I've got some glasses and some fruit and basically that's it quite simple because it's simple forms and then I also looked at alternative beauty and I was really interested in the kind of Pinteresty like projector lights thing so I looked at Jake Hicks and then we got into the studio with Freya and used the projector and yeah that was like alternative beauty so then I looked at all of my shoots um, and my ideas and I decided to choose movement because I wanted to do that kind of thing I don't know like study movement in different ways with portraits so then because I was really into the youtuber Jessica Cabessi and I always watch her I'll link them below like her videos of going out with other photographers and taking pictures with the same model and stuff um I studied Jessica Cabessi because I really she really inspired me um 
and then I went basically to the station, took pictures with Hannah on the 35mm lens, um, and tried to copy like Jessica Cabessi's like fashion photography because that's where I wanted to base my ideas out for movement, like fashion photography. And then basically at the back of this book is just loads of um, tech pages, so they're not really interesting. So from that, Jessica Cabessi, I chose fashion photography, progression exam, and I studied then J Jack Water lot, and he kind of looks at movement, like all his pictures, the models are like moving, it's like fast shutter speed. So I went to the park, used a 35mm lens and got Jumanji's throwaway like move and stuff. And I really like this shoot. Like this is the shoot that kind of turned my style of photography to from like really bad to like kind of a little bit good. Um, I'm not saying I'm not tooting my own horn, but like I like really liked. I got to know the lens, like the 35 millimeter lens, and know like the shutter speed, aperture, and stuff like that. Then I looked at Paul Morrell and Stephanie Young like together to then because they both move like he does like movement in models and double exposure and then she does like double exposure so i did this where i just basically laid the pictures and got her to move chose nick knight who does the motion blur to bring him back the motion blur from the previous shooting bushy it all links together this is this is what photography is like it all just links um, shows where all your ideas come from basically and then I chose Julia Persson and she basically looks at movement as well in an abstract way and I use her idea of like the blurriness and this was literally the worst shoot I shot it literally the day before it was due but it just showed like what I was trying to intend and then basically this is my last shoot this is what i did in the exam i basically planned to go to the london sky garden because i knew the natural light would be really good and then i basically shot one image that was blurry and then one image that was normal where she flicked her hair and merged them together and honestly like this photo is one of my favorites um i was really proud of it considering like it was like my first exam piece and no one helped me with the editing or anything for like the first time. So yeah, there is my final piece for the first year. And that was basically it. And then that was all my first year work, there's four books or three or four books. And then basically over the summer, they basically got us to post on our Instagram, our summer photography, and then put it all into a book when we got back. And I haven't got that book. But honestly, you're not missing out. And if you want to see my photography, um, well, a lot of the summer photography is gone because I deleted it because it was so bad. But yeah, it's basically on my photography Instagram, some of it. So yeah, then we're going on to the second year.